Until this year, Crisis Group in its entire 25-year history had never written about the United States domestic affairs. And I don't think anybody in the organization began the year 2020 thinking we'd be doing it uh, this year. The United States is a mature democracy, it has strong institutions, and it hasn't faced the kinds of risks around elections that other countries that Crisis Group traditionally covers have faced. But then things changed. The nation erupted into scenes of chaos. Tens of thousands of peaceful protesters have made their voices heard. Violent mobs, arsonists, looters, criminals, rioters, Antifa, and others. There was a, an enormous protest wave that took off uh, in late May, early June. But then we began to see a number of risk factors adding up with respect to the election itself. We saw an enormously polarized political society here in the United States. We saw the fact that armed groups had been proliferating and were becoming more virulent. Um, we saw the prospect for a, a contested outcome to the election. And probably most importantly, we saw a president, President Trump, who uh, seemed, with his words, to be courting conflict often rather than trying to calm tensions in the United States. And he's most importantly suggested that he may not be willing to leave office uh, peacefully uh, if he loses the election. So when we look at those factors and the way that they'd add up in any other country in the world, we would come to the conclusion that it's important to give early warning to all the actors who may have a stake in the United States' stability and its security, that this is a time to pay attention and do what they can to try and calm the waters. And just because it's the United States doesn't mean that it gets a free pass from these kinds of risk factors. 